Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the Surface Seca wire bead 700 by 25 c road tires. This is my 2010 GMC Denali road bike with some upgrades on it. Now in regards to the tires, the Surface Seca tires I bought my first set which is on the bike now back in mid 2011. This bike had around a thousand miles on it when I put it on, put these tires on. And the bike currently has 4452.3 miles. So these tires lasted for over 3,000 miles, which is, I think, incredible in my opinion. I mean, these versus Michelin Dynamics, the Michelin Dynamics wear out so much faster. These tires have lasted an incredibly long amount of time. Now, of course, the amount of wear life depends on your riding habits and, I guess, the roads in your area. Most of the roads here are in good condition. They were repaved within the last five years. And, of course, if you live in an area that, um, like, let's say, out in the country, where many of the roads get resurfaced different, many of the roads are rougher, you, your tires will wear out faster on roads like that. But, anyway, as you can, as you can see, these tires have lasted a long amount of time, but it is time to replace them. Notice we have threads showing up on the rear. Notice this last night when I was out riding. So went ahead and come on home because it is time to replace the tires, unless I want a flat. But anyways, as you can see, we have threads. And one of the things I've been wondering about these tires was how how did, was he able to tell if it was time to replace them? Some people are saying these tires have a visual indicator strip under the um, rubber that would start to get exposed when these tires were due for replacement. But apparently these tires don't have that. You just start to see threads when the tires had to be replaced. So if you're someone who bought a set of these tires for your bike or your bike came with these and you were wondering when it's time to replace them, Obviously, when you see threads, it's time to replace your tires. Because anyways, these tires, they've lasted for like 3,000 miles. They handle very well. I mean, these things are very, very tacky. And once you get these tires broke in, they get very, very tacky. Stick to the road surface very well. They handle very well. You can go through curves pretty fast with them and not have to worry about sliding or nothing like that. You know, usually, like I mentioned, the roads in this area are in good condition. They were repaved recently. So when you have fresh asphalt and tires like this, you can pretty much guarantee your bike's going to work very well. But um, so anyways, tires last a long time. They handle very well. Now we're going to talk about the flat protection aspect. One of the big features of these tires is the fact that they have good flat protection. Now, I used to run uh, Michelin Dynamic 700 by 28 c tires on this bike and the Blue Denali road bike I have. And I've had so many flats with those. Same goes for a pair of Continental Ultra Sports I used to have. Had many flats with those. They did not have very good flat protection. These seem to do pretty well at protecting me from flats. I mean, the last time I had a flat was last year. Here I have some records of my 2010 Denali road bike. I try to keep record of maintenance and stuff like that. As you can see, I bought the bike in 2011, new from a Concord Walmart, and um, installed the surface tires on June 23, 2011. Bike had 11, 26 miles on it, and I went ahead and jotted down here that I'm replacing the tires now at 44.52. There is. Um, June 18th, 2014. Bike currently has 44.52 miles on it, so I'd, so definitely good tread life out of these tires. Now, anyways, let me go ahead and show you. As I was talking about um, flats, um, the last time I had a flat tire was let's see, in July of 2013. Bike had 36.62 miles. Had to replace the rear tube. And amazingly, for 11 months, have been flat free. So yeah, <laughs> 800 miles 
right about 800 miles without a flat. Now I definitely say that's pretty that's pretty nice. Now I had a double blowout back in this late May 2013. That was something that pretty much no tire would be able to actually you know handle. That was hitting a defect in the road that caused those flats. But other than that, these tires I have not had many flats at all with them versus like in the past. Let me go ahead and show you on the records of my previous Denali. Um, let me see. I had a lot. I did. I definitely had a lot more flats out of the Michelins and the Continentals. I didn't always keep record of every single flat I had, but like for for example, with the Continentals, at two sixty three point five seven miles, I had those tires installed. I think yeah, for that whole span, I had four flats in that whole time. Now with these tires, I had zero flats within an 800 mile period. So I definitely say that that's definitely pretty nice. So you're definitely getting good flat protection with those tires. So anyways, I just went over um, durability in terms of flat protection, durability in terms of tread wear, and handling that kind of stuff. Definitely to say these surface tires do pretty well with that. Now I'm going to go over price. At REI, these tires are $27.50 a piece. So after tax, you're looking at around $60 or so for these tires. Which is not the cheapest. I mean, there are some tires out there that are like $20 a piece, but those cheaper end road tires, while many of them are light, they don't have good flat protection. These tires are light and have good flat protection. I mean, I can be pressing my finger right here and I feel, I mean, it feels really durable. Like it could stop a lot of flats. So anyway, that's what a brand new tire looks like. And I'll be installing these within a day or so. So anyways, um, in regards to having these on a Denali, you know the cheap rim bike you get at Walmart for $170? On a stock Denali, even these tires here make a good difference in performance. Any tire, any road tire you slap on a Denali is an upgrade because the tires on the stock tires on a Denali are just absolutely awful. But um, this Denali obviously has a lot of upgrades on it. I mean, the Aramax wheel set and you know the the handlebars, the STL levers, that kind of stuff. This bike is still a bit heavy, weighs in at about 27 pounds or so. But with the surface tires, it does absolutely wonderful. So it's pretty, pretty safe to say if you're looking for a good replacement set of tires for your road bike, give these surface set of tires a try. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.